Hello everyone. This video will speak about professional ethics for nurses. Professional ethics for nurses. Every profession makes provision to raise its status and to safeguard its own interests and that of its clients. It is to achieve these ends that professional ethics have been evolved and accepted by all professions, including nursing. There is no legal binding for the acceptance of a particular ethic. It is a self-imposed discipline. Therefore, merely to enunciate these moral principles is not sufficient. One has to practice to live them. Ethics is defined with moral questions or theory, a system of principles and rules of conduct. We usually use this term to refer to the basic principles of morally right action. Therefore, when we talk of professional ethics of nursing, we are talking about the moral rules and principle which a nurse should follow in practicing and a profession. Professional ethics governing community health nursing practices are essentially the same as applied to nursing in other fields. Nursing profession has considered the question of preserving and adapting a code of conduct at many conferences and meetings from time to time. International Code of Nursing Ethics, 1973. The fundamental responsibility of the nurse is fourfold. That is to promote health, to prevent illness, to restore health and to alleviate suffering. The need for nursing is always universal. Inherent in nursing is respect for life, dignity and rights of man. It is unrestricted by considerations of nationality, race, creed, color, age, sex, politics or social status. Introduction to the code. Nurses always render health services to the individual, the family and the community and coordinate the services with those of later groups. Usually the code gives a general description of what the nurse does. The fourfold responsibility of promoting health, preventing illness, restoring health and alleviating suffering. How nursing service should be given and restricted by nationality, race, creed, color, age, sex, politics or social status to all the services given, the individual, family and community. Ethics. The body of the code is made up of five sections that is nurses and people, nurses and practice, nurses and co-workers, nurses and society and nurses and profession. Nurses and people. Earlier, the term patient has been replaced by the term people, which make the nurses responsibilities broader and the area and scope of nursing extensive beyond the care of the sick institution. Further, the code directs the nurse to respect a person's values, customs and religious beliefs. Each country and different areas within a country has certain values and customs. The nurse is always expected to learn the accepted patterns of behavior of the community and not to insult the people knowingly or unknowingly by behavior that is not acceptable to them. All the personal information entrusted to the nurse must be held in confidence or shared only with careful judgment. Careless talk about a person is always unethical contact. The religious belief of a patient must be respected and spiritual advisor should be provided whenever possible. Nurses and practice. The nurse must maintain at all times the highest standard of nursing care and of professional conduct. She should maintain up-to-date scientific knowledge and skills and have the right attitude in using this knowledge and also while delegating responsibilities to those providing care according to the level of preparation and competence. Usually, the public develop an opinion of the profession from what they see in the nurse's behavior. The people will think more highly of the nursing profession when they see a high standard of ethical contact in the nurse's behavior. So, a nurse is entitled to just remuneration and access 
except only such compensation as the contract actual or implied provide. She should not permit her name to be used in connection with the advertisement of products or with any forms of self-advertisements. Nurses and society. A nurse should participate and share responsibility with other citizens and other healthcare professions in promoting efforts to meet the health needs of her public, local level, state level, national and international level. She should recognize and perform the duties of citizenship and be well aware of laws and regulations which affect the practice of medicine and nursing. The court states the responsibility of the nurse for positive promotion of health for the community by both initiating and supporting action to meet the health and social needs. Social needs are often closely linked with the health care needs. Example, poor housing, sanitation, nutrition, as also unemployment and illiteracy adversely affect the health of the people and therefore the nurse has an important role to play in health education and referral work. Nurses and co-workers. The nurse should maintain harmonious relationship with members of other profession and also her or his nursing colleagues. The nurse is one member of the health team which is made up of all those who serve and meet the healthy needs of the people. She should understand her own responsibilities as they are related to those of others also serving on the health team. Nurses and profession. This will point out the role of a nurse as a leader and active participant. She no longer should take a passive role. The nurse should take the leadership role in setting up desirable standard of nursing education and practice. She should enlarge the care of professional knowledge and take interest in research. The important aspect is setting up and maintaining fair social and economical working conditions in nursing. This should be done in the right way by peaceful negotiation and not by means of strike which is very very unethical. Action should be initiated through only by professional organizations.